Tuesday. Wednesday. Two worlds collide every Thursday here at Tamaki College in Glen Innes. It's a chance for people to learn English and make friends while stitching. It started as an experiment and is now a weekly ritual, with every week more members trickling through the door. Two and a half inches by 30. So this side is inches, this is centimetres. General Manager of Adult Education at the RISE Trust, Natasha Aldi, runs the programme and says over the last month the group's confidence has skyrocketed. Their English has really grown um, and their willingness to speak in English. So um, very, very different from when we first started. So they're coming in very eager to, eager to practice their English because this is one of the few opportunities they would get in their week. Members are from all different places and at different stages on their language journey. Most of our class are from Afghanistan. Some of them have um, are literate in their own language and some are not. So there's a couple in this class that have not picked up a pen or a pencil in their own language. 18-year-old Rocky Anori moved here from Afghanistan just over a year ago. While she knew a little English before, she signed up for the chance to upskill. I want to learn saving and um, enjoy it with people. Today she's making an apron. Rokia is a tough critic of her own English, but loving it. Are you enjoying it? Yes. Yeah. What, do, what do you like about it? Mm, about how we saving and, uh, and talking with together, helping together. freshta has been studying at Tamaki College for just two months. Originally from Iran, she didn't sew or know much English before arriving here. We spoke with the help of a translator. And what are you sewing today? Love. Love. Yeah. Oven Yeah. Oh, nice. Mm. And um, did you sew before you came here? Mm. No. No. So you're learning both. Yeah. What do you like about coming here to this class? Mm. Uh, I like reading and uh, mm. uh, uh, speaking. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> <laughs> If you just uh, mark how here, you? good, how are you? Because some members have recently arrived, they're making items to set up a home, like pillowcases and toiletry bags. It's the highlight of the week for many, not just about learning English or sewing, but a chance to have a laugh. While we're holding our, there is shui shui balance between going too fast. <laughs> Natasha says a lot of the time it's at the state of her sewing skills. While we're sewing I sort of say I don't know what I'm doing and they laugh because they probably don't know that I'm saying that I don't know what I'm doing and they I, I feel like it just takes away all the um, I don't know any angst or any um, nervousness around it because uh, the teacher's kind of learning too. Yeah I just couldn't make a little top. If I can get the, another fabric to make a sleeves, I think it would be nice to have the little things, just a little single, a little top. Thankfully, she has Liliani to help out. She's been in the game for almost 50 years and knows her way around a machine. Most of the women haven't used one before, but are eager to learn. They want to learn. That's why I encourage them, even me, to give them whatever I can with my sewing skill. Everybody asks me to do that, do that. Say, can you wait? Can you wait? <laughs> but that's why I love them. And sewing is a vital skill against the cost of living crisis. Because it's expensive now to buy clothes, even when you have children, grandchildren. But when you sew, when you when you want to sew, know how to sew, so it's uh, it's help the family. You get to keep this, your own sewing kit. The group is also funded by the local Rotary and Teddy Order Academy. In the future, they're hoping to expand beyond the classroom walls and find a more permanent space, making change one stitch at a time.